Hi friends, let's find out the best open source LLM for rag retrieval. We know rag consists of at least two LLMs, a retriever and a generator. Retriever retrieve the context, the relevant context from the vector database and the generator it synthesizes the response using the context provided by the retriever. Today, we are going to find out the best among these seven embedding models. Here you see their, the models along with their embeddings dimension. The four of them are the most count downloaded models from Olama and the remaining three, uh, these are the famous sentence transformer embedding models from hugging phase. Okay, so that's how I choose uh, these seven models. All right, so we will be using Langchain, uh, Olama and Hugging Face embeddings and Facebook FAISS for the vector database. And then we are going to read a bunch of text documents from the directory. Uh, so here I have a folder with all Paul Graham essays. So there are some 200 plus essays. Okay, for example, this is how they look like. Uh, written by Paul Graham, uh, the title of the essay, the date, and then uh, the, the essay itself. Okay. All right. So first, uh, define the loader uh, with the path where we have all the files, and then we have the document. So we split them into smaller chunks of size 1000 with overlap 100, and this will give us the text chunks. Okay. So out of those 200 plus essays, we have total 4,000 plus chunks. Now what I noticed is some of the chunks are too small. Uh, for some reason, instead of having minimum 1,000 characters, uh, they have uh, only these three elements as a chunk. Okay, so let's remove those chunks. So here we are going over all the chunks and we measure the number of characters if they are only greater than 100 we add them to these text too okay so this way we have excluded those 200 plus odd chunks uh, which are uh, very small all right okay so let's see an example how we build the retriever and how we query for semantically relevant documents Okay, so here we have uh, Olama embeddings, uh, the nomic embedding text. And then we initialize a vector database, uh, which require two inputs. The first one is all our chunks and the second one LLM model. Okay, from the vector database, we can build a retriever. Here we can specify how we want to retrieve. So there are different uh, mechanisms of retrieval. And also we can configure how many relevant documents uh, we want to get back. Okay, so here we are specifying uh, only one. We can even specify a threshold like 0 0.8, 0 0.9, uh, which is used uh, as a threshold for a semantic similarity. Okay, but here uh, we, we keep it simple. We are extracting only the top most relevant document among these 4000 plus chunks. All right, so here simply invoke the retriever. Uh, so what does Paul Graham say uh, about relationship between the startups and the risks? So that's our question. We want to find out a document which is most semantically similar uh, to this one. Okay. So we get docs. So here is our document. Uh, since we set it to only one, we'll receive only one uh, document back. So this looks a relevant document. Uh, here it says appetite for risk uh, doesn't merely kill of rival startups so and so forth and here we also have the reference so it's this inequality dot uh, txt all right so that's how the retriever works now let's build a system with all these seven embedding models and we want to test over a number of questions not just one right so what we do is so here we have the llms and then first we will build the vector database and persist to our local disk. 
and then we read the vector database we run it through a bunch of questions and then we evaluate the response okay so what i am doing here is we are going over all the llms and if it's a sentence transformer if the name contains sentence transformer uh, we load it from hugging face embeddings okay we simply specify the name otherwise uh, it's olama okay so i have uh, already downloaded those four models now when you run even these three models the first time they gets downloaded to your laptop uh, so it it might take some time okay all right so we have initialized the embedding model and then initializing the vector database uh, so here we provide the documents or the chunks along with the embedding model so this will take some time we create the vector database and then here we persist to our local uh, 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 memory okay i already ran this code and this is how the output look like so within our vector db folder we have the seven folders one for each embedding model and within each folder we have the vector database of files okay so the pickle file contains the uh, uh, the vector index okay for basically it contains all these 4000 plus documents the actual text along with their embeddings okay all right we already have it now to test the retriever we need a bunch of questions right so here i have generated about 50 questions okay so these are all the questions as you can see what did paul graham said about this or that uh, startups uh, innovation so and so forth okay all right and then so we are going to use each vector store we are going to run all these 50 questions one by one to extract the relevant document first and then we will assess which model performed best okay uh, same as before we are looping over all the llms and then uh, again initialize the llm model now load the vector database from local okay so as you can see uh, this is the path where we save the database and then uh, load local so this is the uh, database name uh, which is basically the path and the embedding model again we create the retriever with only one document to retry all right and then here we are going over all these 50 questions okay so we are going over all these 50 questions so for each question we invoke the retriever which will return the top most relevant document and we get the content of the document and we just add it to list and eventually we create a pandas data frame which looks like this okay so after running through all the seven models uh, this is what we have generated so we have a question here and using this model or this embedding model find out this as the most relevant document to answer this question among those 4000 plus documents okay that's how uh, we'll see all right so here we have seven models and for each question we have seven retrievals now whenever we assess the performance of a retriever we typically use the context recall or the context precision but in order to do that we need another llm that's the standard process right when we compare numbers we don't need uh, anything we can uh, easily compare two numbers we can uh, measure the percentage difference uh, how many times so and so forth right but in the llm space here we have a text versus text so to evaluate how good uh, it is we use another llm okay all right so, but here we are going to use uh, a voting classifier type of method what we are going to do is we take all these seven responses and find out which is the most common response and then find out which embedding models actually came up with the document okay i'll show you uh, how it looks like so here I have a helper function to find out the most common response. So among these seven responses from seven models, which one is the most common response? Okay. So just using this counter uh, uh, module from Python. And then uh, we are adding two additional columns, the voting winner and the voting count. 
So as I mentioned, it's a voting classifier type of thing, uh, how we use uh, in uh, a bagging uh, type of uh, machine learning models, okay? So if you look at the first one, here the winner is uh, this document, appetite for risk doesn't merely kill so and so forth, right? Now, these are the seven responses from seven models. So the nomic, it's appetite for risk, that's the document. And then for these two LLMs, it's this appetite for risk. So as you will see, out of seven models, three models came, found out this as the relevant document to answer this question, okay? So this is that count you see, three. And the winner is this uh, document, okay? So we do this for all the questions, uh, but sometimes there could be tie, right? Uh, uh, maybe seven models, uh, they uh, extracted seven different uh, contexts, okay? In such a case, we don't have a, any clear winner. So an example of that uh, is this. It could be all seven extracted different ones, or maybe there could be tie, something like that, right? So that's what we are doing here. So we are counting. If there is more than one, we return none as the winner as well as the count. Okay. Now, max, we have five. So out of seven, five models have extracted this document. Uh, focus is doubly important for early stage startups, so on and so forth. It's another question related to startups. So what does Paul Graham say about significance of uh, maybe something early related. So here, out of seven models, one, two, three, four, five, right? So five models uh, came up with the document. So here uh, it is five and that's the response. So only two models. Uh, this one, I think it's Nomic. And then this one, which is, uh, which is Snowflake, uh, uh, have a different uh, context. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to count out how many times the model response or the extracted document match with the winning document, okay? So that's what we are doing here. And here we have uh, the count percentage, the correct percentage, uh, sorry, the correct count as well as the percentage. Now, as I mentioned, when we don't have a clear winner, we have none, right? So out of these 50 questions, uh, 14 questions, we don't have a clear winner. So out of these 36 questions, we are counting for each LLM, how many times the document extracted by that LLM matches with the winner, okay? So out of these 36 times, 23 times, which is 63% of the time, uh, this all uh, mini LLM L2L model uh, extracted document match with the winning document, okay? And then we are simply doing the plot and this is how the plot looks like, okay? So here, the way we define how good the retriever performance is, not using the context recall or the context precision, but what we did is, we ran our question through a bunch of retriever models. We take the response from each model and we figure out, find out which is the most common response and then use that response as the ground truth and then measure how many times each embedding model got it correct, okay? So this is how it looks like. Now, one interesting pattern I found out is all these hugging face transformer models are scored at the top, right? So this all mini LM uh, and these three models. Now, there could be some bias in it. The reason being, these three models are same class of models. So they might be extracting a very similar uh, documents and hence uh, the voting classifier uh, voted for whichever document they have been extracted, okay? So let's see if there is such a bias. So next what I did is simply removed two models out of these three models. So I removed uh, this L6 and this MPNet model, okay? Now this time, we have only five models, okay? So these four models from uh, Olama and the fifth model from uh, uh, Hugging Face. And these five models, those are completely developed by different companies and uh, those are completely not related to each other, 
okay so we run the same analysis again we find out the most common one and then we measure uh, how many times uh, each llm response match with the winning uh, documents right so this is how the results look like and if you look at the plot this time the clear winner is uh, the nomic embed text now this result doesn't surprise me because i have been using nomic from quite a while uh, they, they are into this embedding business uh, from a very long time and they even have a product which is exclusively based on uh, embeddings uh, it's called atlas uh, please check that uh, it's a very interesting and useful product and they also recent uh, developed uh, gpt for all okay and then we have the hugging face model now for some reason uh, the snowflake model uh, which has 40 plus thousand downloads on olama uh, it's supposed to be a good model for some reason it did not do well or maybe the way this embedding model works is quite different from the remaining models so the context extracted by these models is different from uh, the snowflake model so it, it is at the bottom but this is does not to say this model is not good but in this experiment with the conditions or how we set it up uh, with the data we have uh, these are the results okay but it reinforces this nomic embed text is one of the best models uh, for uh, rag uh, retriever okay uh, that's all for this video uh, thank you very much.